And we're continuing with our preseason look at the top 20 drivers from NASCAR Illustrated Season Preview Edition. I'm Bass Masters with Matt Crossman of the Sporting News. We're talking today about Jeff Burton, Matt, a guy that actually hasn't won in a couple of years. Another steady performer, but not a big winner. Yeah, he led uh, 17 races last year for 539 laps and didn't win any of them. That's, that's a lot of races to lead, so you think he's got a good car, and... You know, he's he just finished poorly. I, I was looking up some stats. His average uh, position in the middle of a race is 11th, which is pretty good, but his average right. finish, uh, 15.1. Wow. You, you can't lose four positions from, from the, the middle, middle of a race to, to the, the end. end. Now, there's two things that cause that. It's either bad decisions uh, by the by the crew chief, you know, w which can be the result of a lot of things, or a lot of times that's driver exhaustion. I don't think it's driver exhaustion on his part. You know, they, they start to lose it mentally. They, they just can't keep up. I don't think that's the case with Burton. I would think it's probably uh, they're just making bad calls at the end of races. Now, is he gaining positions at the first part of the race, but just not gaining them towards the end? Yeah, I mean, he's been, he was fast. Because he's not a great qualifier either. No, you know what? Uh, I don't normally uh, have NASCAR conversations with random people at bars in Los Angeles, but I had <laughs> one with somebody the other day, and he happened to be a huge Jeff Burton fan. And again, how many huge Jeff Burton fans are there? There are... Uh, Jeff Burton's great quote is he's a lot of people's second favorite driver. Right, that's this probably guy, true. This guy happened to be his uh, favorite driver, and he was lamenting that Burton would be fast in the middle of a race uh, and slow at the end. And I thought this was just a Burton fan complaining. I looked it up, and those were the numbers. Yeah, so, that's interesting because it's it's are they are they missing on their adjustments or what? What's I, going I on? There? I think that's what it is. I think he uh, and, and Todd Barrier. Uh, we're just making poor decisions at the end. Uh, I don't know. If the they, guys get afraid to change, get their car good. They don't want to go too yep. far, especially with this yep. very finicky race car yep. we have now. Exactly. And, uh, you know, the, I don't know if they had great uh, uh, pit stops. Mm -hmm. That was a problem really a, a lot at, at Childers last year, as we saw with the Harvick swap at the end. Uh, but you fix those two things, and, you know, I don't know what you say he's a championship contender, but he'd be there lurking. Yeah, you know, he's one of those guys that has a lot of pretty good points finishes. Yes. Uh, and it's interesting that in the the RCR resurgence last year, he did make the chase, but then just really didn't have a good chase. I mean, he finished last. Yep. It just wasn't a good chase for him, and you wonder, what does that do? The team as a whole seems very positive entering this year. How is Jeff Burton's mental state? Well, I, He's I, a veteran. Yeah, I think if he improves those things, his mental state will be good. Yeah. I think if he doesn't, he doesn't. But, but you make a good point that... You know, Harvick had a, a pretty dominant season. He didn't win the chase, but, I mean, I think overall you would say he had the best season of a driver. Uh, and Boyer certainly had a good year, too. And the odd man out was Burton. And if everything's the same, you know, the equipment is the same, then it's either the driver or the crew. And so, you know, I, I think those two things need to improve. Now, a lot has been made of the engine package they've got over there. It was very successful last yep. year. Does this team have a horsepower advantage? And if they do, is it really significant? Is it really big? I mean, we all know what wins in NASCAR is getting through the corner, yep. generally not down the straight. It is nice to have that extra power. So how big a deal is that? Oh, it's huge uh, because there's, there's a lot of reasons. If you're faster going into the corner, uh, that gives you, uh, you know, margin of error, you know, going through the corner and coming out. And, yeah, I mean, horsepower is everything. You can, Especially with this car and the body so tightly controlled, yeah. it's hard to get an advantage. It, it is. It, I mean, you can – the good teams can get their car to handle, uh, you know, through Friday and Saturday. You can't find horsepower on Friday and Saturday. You either have it or you don't. Interesting point. All right, Jeff Burton, 14. Is that fair for him, or are we underrating this guy again? Uh, I, I think that's fair based on how he basically fell apart during the chase and just sort of, I mean, he made it, but you didn't really hear his name very much. So, yeah, I, I think that's a fair spot. All right, that's our look at Jeff Burton. Joey Logano is next on our countdown of the top 20 drivers from the NASCAR Illustrated Season Preview Edition. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.